And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about a game called Stack It. Now, again, once again, this is a preview video, so the components in this game are perhaps not exactly what you'll see in the final thing, but I have enough here to show you what a feeling of what this game is. Stack It is basically a dexterity game. But it's a dexterity game with some interesting ideas that I haven't seen before in other dexterity games. So let's jump into it and look at how the game works. Stack It comes with a whole pile of wooden pieces. And there's all different sizes and shapes and apparently several of them will roll onto the floor if dumped out like that. But each of the shapes is, you know, they look like um, a huge variety of shapes that you can find from a, you know, a ball that I just had to recover from rolling all over the place. But the big, the most important piece right now is the base. Now, in a regular game of Stack It, it works like your typical dexterity game. You have all these different pieces out here from a wooden egg to a depressor stick to a little scrabble tile to a little milk jug. And on your turn, you simply must place one on the base here. The next person places one on the base somehow, or touching a piece that's already been put there. And so what you're trying to do on your turn is to put these pieces out so that nothing falls. If when you're putting a piece on, your piece falls off, that's fine. You can just pick it up and put it back on again. But if you knock other pieces off, well then you lose. And that's the way the game goes. Now. A piece has to sit on the structure for 10 seconds. Uh, you can't move other pieces unless it's an accidental thing. But that's just the basic game. To make the game more interesting, you play with the advanced or alternate version, which I think is a superior version to play the game with. The way this version works is a couple things. First of all, you play with the advanced rules that if you touch a piece, that's the piece you have to put on. But when you put a piece on, that's how many points you score. So when I put this piece on, I've scored one point because it's touching one thing. If I put this piece here, I've scored two points because I've touched two things. This will encourage a completely different style game because as you're putting the pieces down, you're trying to touch as many pieces as you possibly can. And when you knock pieces off, you're going to get points. Uh, you're going to lose points. So you have to be very cautious. And while in the regular game, small pieces are very desirable because you can stick them on and they fit on the thing very easily. In this game, the bigger pieces are more desirable because you can touch more pieces with them. However, they're more difficult to put on. I might say, hey, it's better for me to gain one point than it is to lose points. Or I might say, oh, just how many pieces can I touch with this round stick as I put it on there? And apparently I can touch four that way. And so you keep going until someone gets four points. Now there's really not a lot more that I can say about this game rules-wise because that's basically what it is. But before we go back to me, I just wanted to point out that I really like the different shapes in here. They really seem to work well together. They're all very different and unique. They all have a very different tactile feel. Some of them, in particular this one, are very difficult to work with and add to the structure. Others, like this one, are very easy to add, but you never know. Especially when you point, play with the points uh, game version, you'll find that the pieces have a completely different meaning there. This piece suddenly has a big meaning to it. And this piece is, uh, I don't know, in particular it's a lot of fun because most players always try to balance it like that if they possibly can, which then suddenly makes all the pieces that are put on after it a lot more interesting. Even though I'm showing you some really bad skills here right now. But that's the game of Stack It. So there you go, Stack It. Stack It is a game that uh, looks like a lot of other 
dexterity games, but adding all those different style pieces, many of them I've not seen in dexterity games before. And they all have a different, like I said, they have that different tactile feel, all these different styles of pieces. And the, the regular game is fine, and it's a good game to play, especially with the younger kids, but the point version really shown. When I did my playtesting sessions, we played the first version and the second version, and the second version with the points was universally enjoyed more because it added a lot more strategy to the game. In the first version, we were able a few times to get every single piece on. Now, not when I'm playing, because when I'm playing, I will deliberately put my pieces so that the next piece falls off, I hope. And so I'll stack them in really weird situations. So either I'm going to make the next guy knock the tower over or I'm going to knock it over. But uh, the point version, very different feeling to it because you're trying to put on the pieces that touch pieces. And when you do that, you forget about the whole stacking thing. So it's a little neat idea. So if you're interested in this game, uh, right after this, there's going to be a link to the Kickstarting uh, page and go there. Go there quickly because there's not a whole lot of time left. But if you're interested in seeing this game produced, go check it out. Stack it.